The people started grumbling about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. So they said, this man is Jesus, the son of Joseph, isn't he? We know his father and mother. How then does he now say he came down from heaven? Jesus answered, stop grumbling amongst yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him to me and I will raise him on the last day. The prophets wrote, everyone will be taught by God. Anyone who hears the Father and learns from him comes to me. This does not mean that anyone has seen the Father. He who is from God is the only one who has seen the Father. I am telling you the truth. He who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. But the bread that comes down from heaven is of such a kind that whoever eats it will not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. The bread that I will give him is my flesh, which I give so the world might live. Thanks be to God for his words. So we spent a moment a while ago thinking about what wisdom was. And here's one slightly silly definition. Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing that you don't want to put it in a fruit salad. <laughs> wisdom is knowledge and experience that together develop good judgment. Today's gospel reading is hard. It seems like Jesus is deliberately making what he is saying difficult for the crowd to understand. He forces them to think carefully about what he is saying, to listen, which we mentioned earlier, and then to have to think about it later to talk to each other, to chew it over, to understand what he is teaching them, if they want to make the effort, if they want to persevere, if they want to love God with their minds. Jesus, at this early point in his ministry in John's Gospel, is cautious of the crowd. He suspects they want excitement and quick fixes, like feeding the 5,000 which started the chapter. They want bread and circuses, like the Roman emperors provided to stop people from rioting. They want free food, like the manna which God provided every day for God's people in the wilderness thousands of years before in the Old Testament food that the Israelites didn't have to work for. It appeared every evening, it was just there. And it's called manna, because manna means what is it? Because they didn't know what it was. It wasn't quite bread, it wasn't quite crisps. Apparently it tasted sweet like honey. And it arrived every day. The Israelites didn't have to work for it, all they had to do was trust. Trust that there would always be enough and obey God's instructions about not trying to keep it because it couldn't be hoarded or traded or sold. There was always enough for their immediate needs. The crowd listening to Jesus question his authority 
They wonder how he can be from heaven, how he can be God or from God, when they know who his dad is and his mum is and his brothers and his sisters and they probably have known him since he was that big. Jesus' is bread is something else. Not a loaf of hovis or tiger bread or freshly made gluten-free bread or anything else. Nor is it miraculous manna from heaven. Jesus' living bread does three things in this life on earth and offers one big hope for the future. Jesus' bread from heaven helps people to know God. It offers knowledge of eternal life, and it's the literal bread shared at communion. And Jesus' bread, the essential staple food for life, is his body given up on the cross which with his resurrection will bring people to God and give them life beyond death. As the bread which helps people to know God, Jesus' teaching echoes the image of wisdom in Proverbs. In Proverbs, wisdom, knowledge, experience and good judgment, and in the Bible particularly knowledge of God and God's teaching, Wisdom is personified as a woman. She has built a house or a school, has prepared a feast with bread and wine. And the bread and wine are the lessons the students need to learn in order to know and love God more, to gain wisdom. So what do we have to learn to know and love God more? What do we have to learn to know and love God more? It's not, oh, sorry. Patience. Patience, thank you. I was beginning to think I was here on my own. <laughs> Patience. Obedience. Obe- obedience, obey him. Yeah. Trust. Trust. Tolerance. Tolerance. might be learning some of the law and some of the context as well, some of the history. Might be learning some of the things about our faith. Might be learning more about faith and hope and love. There's so much to wisdom because we're always learning more. In another part of the book of Proverbs, wisdom invites them to learn prudence to learn to be self-disciplined and to think before we act. Prudence means that you look both ways before you cross the road and you look before you jump. Wisdom invites them to acquire intelligence. Wisdom only says what is truthful and just, what is truthful and fair. Wisdom does not spread false rumours or lies and does not say anything that is unfair. Wisdom builds up. Wisdom knows that education is precious, which is a strange thing to talk about in the middle of the summer holidays. Who's learned anything this summer holiday? Yay, well done. Of all the rest of you, we go, no, I'm not going to read anything. (laughs) <laughs> Anyone to... <laughs> Wisdom knows that education is precious. Wisdom knows that education is more valuable than silver, gold, or even fine jewels. Anyone got some nice jewellery on? Yeah. This week, we have seen some terrible things happen on the streets of our city and country. Over weeks and months, many people will seek to understand what happened and why. 
They'll wonder how to mend broken relationships, how to build new links between different communities in one place. And we know from bitter experience that there are no easy answers and no simple solutions. Because if there were, we'd have done it. And we know that this week, that the race riots were deliberately fueled by lies, that some people were deliberately starting trouble, and that other people sometimes acted without thinking about what they were doing or the consequences of their actions, caught up in the moment by the mob. We know that riots were fueled by long-term and deliberate use of language that has dehumanised people, and particularly refugees. We know that it is often easier to tear down than to build up. So this week, when we have seen what lies, prejudice, impulsiveness and anger have done, may we celebrate those who patiently build up who seek to build up communities. May we give thanks for groups like the Litterbusters, who try and make the local area a good place to live. All the people that went out to sweep their sweet streets after the riots. And as exam results are coming closer, may we celebrate learning, becoming aware of the world around us, learning to think critically, to be able to persevere, to keep trying when something is hard, to seek to acquire wisdom from the world around us, and so that we may grow in our knowledge and love of God through Bible study, reading and reflecting together. May we celebrate Bible study in church and in different ways and places. May we seek to acquire wisdom, to eat the heavenly bread, which helps us to love God with all our mind. And as we come to communion, and as we eat this ordinary bread, which will become for us the body and blood of Christ, uniting us with Christ and through Christ with God and all creation, May we be strengthened and may we learn to love with all our heart, our mind, our soul and our strength and to love our neighbour, all our neighbours as ourselves. Amen. We're going to try and sing a new song. It's called Wisdom's Table, and it's in the Common Ground book, if anyone's familiar with that. And it's based on Proverbs 9, which is why we're singing it. So it talks about wisdom coming and inviting people to a feast. And it's not that difficult a tune. It just sort of walks up and down the steps. So if you're able to stand, please stand as we sing.
be seated. During the course of the week, um, the Methodist Church centrally at The Connection has put together a video in response to the riots and we're going to watch it now. Every day We go to war again We assume We know so much more than them before we hear what they have to say Headline breaks And we start to hate again Calling them names again We give our peace away I hope they see I want to see it I hope we believe it I want to see I want to see the love All around you All around you I want In the beginning was the Word. When words fail us, speak your word of peace to our troubled hearts. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Help us to be your Word in our communities, working together in love and respect. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Be our strength in the days ahead. Be our hope. For love is stronger than hate, and we pray that we may not only see the love, but be the love, even when it's hard. Amen. Day by day, hope fades away and then we know that there is pain within. We cannot medicate. Learn to feel Learn to begin again Open our eyes again To see our brother's pain I hope they see it Cause I wanna see it I hope we believe See the love. 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 I wanna see. I wanna see the love. I wanna know, 
See the love. 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 So we join together to pray for our church and our world and our local community. The response to Lord hear us is Lord graciously hear us. Loving God, as tensions have continued to erupt into violence on the streets of many cities this week, we pray for peace and a healing of divisions within our nation and the world. May there be a restoration of calm, common sense and common decency. Let love and respect let love and respect and regard for the rights of all be restored. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father of us all, be with those in need of your comfort and care this day. We pray for the grieving. for the sick in body and mind. And for all whose, all whose human needs are not being met. We remember the community of Southport and the three families grieving for their children there, and all those affected. A community bewildered by what has happened among them and by what has happened as a result. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God, the changes that have swept our world in recent decades are double-edged swords. Many of us use the internet and social media to pursue conflict and to disseminate lies and misinformation. We pray for the owners of these platforms to take greater responsibility and we ask for ourselves for a spirit of discernment that all may use these services wisely. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God of the world, as the Olympics draw to a close, we think of the values that inspired the Olympic movement, particularly those of respect and friendship between competitors and nations. May those who have met in Paris, athletes and spectators from different cultures and walks of life, 
carry the Olympic spirit home with them and endeavour to uphold its ideals. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord of love, in these testing times, we pray for your church and for ourselves as Christians. Help us to uphold the ideals of our faith. Aid us in following the way of Christ and help us to examine ourselves, to root out any wrong thinking, any lurking hatreds, and prejudices in our hearts. May we be the calm centre of our communities, the reassurance of your love, and the sharers of your light and the life of the risen Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Amen. So now we're going to share the love as we share the peace together. And your challenge for the morning is to go and shake the hand or say good morning to someone you don't know the name of. Okay? We have come to believe and know Jesus Christ, the Holy One of God, who gives us his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Hello, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Is it one week, two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. You doing okay? You having a good summer? Yeah. You having a good summer? Yeah. Solomon, you having a good summer? Do you want to And now we're going to sing hymn number 573. Be known to us in breaking bread.
loving God, all that we have comes from you. Accept these tokens of all that we give back to you. Our talents, our time, our money, ourselves. Help us to use them for your praise and glory. Amen. So before we come together to share in bread and wine, we have to say thank you to God. Now when we come together to share in bread and wine, everyone is welcome to join us. If you would prefer that your children don't receive, they're welcome to come forward and have a blessing. Just tell me or shake your head or do that. Just let me know what's happening. But everyone is welcome to come and share with us. Our bread is gluten free and our wine is alcohol free. But before we do that, we need to say thank you to God. So what should we say thank you to God for this week? For birthdays and anniversaries. (laughs) Pick one. Anniversaries. Anniversaries. Birthday to an anniversary. It's the anniversary of your birth, and I'm sticking to it. (laughs) You're out to get me today, aren't you? (laughs) Can we have physios? So, anniversaries, we're going to have to... Anniversaries, okay? That doesn't scan very well. Because it has to go to diff, diff, diff. That's the normal rule. So it's going to have to be anniversaries, okay? And then physios, that makes sense. We can do that one. Doctors. Doctors. Life. Life. Family. Sunshine. Sunshine. Friends. Friends. No. (laughs) Right. So we're going to do family and friends, anniversaries, life. If we did medics, that would kind of cover everything, wouldn't it? Would that be all right? No. Margaret's pulling a face at me. Is that a no? (laughs) Well, you could have NHS. That scans. Oh. (laughs) The children are behaving perfectly. The adults are a nightmare. So, what have we concluded? (laughs) Yeah. Right. So we're going to do anniversaries, NHS, family and friends, life. And that's going to encompass everything, okay? Sunshine. Five. (laughs) I'm going to sulk and go on holiday next month (laughs) and leave you. Unfortunately, it's a five Sunday month, so that threat doesn't work. (laughs) Right, so it goes, thank you, God, for anniversaries. Right where we are. You ready for the actions? You're going to look. Actions, go. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Right where we are. So thank you God for anniversaries, thank you God for anniversaries, thank you God for anniversaries, right where we are, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where we are, NHS. Thank you, God, for the NHS. Thank you, God, for the NHS. Thank you, God, for the NHS. 
friends. Thank you God for family and friends. Thank you God for family and friends. Thank you God for family and friends. Right where we are. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Right where we are. For life. Thank you, God, for life. Thank you, God, for life. Thank you, God, for life. Right where we are. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Right where we are. Sunshine, thank you, God, for sunshine. Thank you, God, for sunshine. Thank you, God, for sunshine. Right where we are. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where we are. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We praise you, O God, for in every generation you give life to the world. You sang the world into being, creating all things in their wonder and diversity. You saw that you all that you had made was good. And by your blessing, you gave the earth to be our home. In Egypt, your people fed on the bread of tears, suffering under the toil of slavery and the oppression of the powerful. In your mercy, you led them out, feeding them with unleavened bread and guiding them in the wilderness where you gave them bread from heaven. When all things were ready, you sent your son, Jesus Christ, the true bread from heaven. He fed the hungry and ate with outcasts, welcoming all to the table in mercy and love. To give life to the world, he went to the cross, giving himself for all. He laid down his life, a perfect offering to the glory of your name, our paschal lamb, you raised him from the dead on the third day and exalted him to the highest place. Through him you sent the spirit of truth to be our advocate with us forever. Exalted to the highest place, enthroned at the heavenly banquet, he is praised by angels, archangels and the saints of every age and the triumphant song never ceases. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus the Lord said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Send your Holy Spirit upon this bread, the gift of the earth, and this cup, the fruit of the vine, that they may be for us the body and blood of Christ, and that whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup may live forever. For on the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, 
broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, drink from this, all of you. This, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Remembering therefore his death and resurrection and proclaiming his eternal sacrifice, we praise you for the everlasting bread and mystic wine, the flesh and blood of our Saviour Christ. As we eat this bread and drink this cup, Christ lives in us and we live in Christ. We offer them to you for the life of the church and the world for all in need, for all who hunger and thirst. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and all your church and gather us together, even as the grain scattered across the hillsides was made one in this bread, that in peace and in unity we may proclaim your kingdom and seek your salvation. So gracious God, we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, through Jesus Christ, your living bread and ours, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the power of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught his disciples, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The bread of God comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Draw near with faith.
go in peace, and the God of all peace go with you. Amen. given for you, the body of Christ 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 given for you. 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 The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Amen. Go in peace and the God of all peace go with you. Amen. of Christ given for you. The body 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 of Christ given for you. Go in peace, and the God of all peace go with you. Amen.
And our final here, oh, no. Let us pray. Lord, our God, you have strengthened us for our journey with, with Christ, the living bread. Bring us to be with you in glory, that with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we may praise you forever. Amen. Our final hymn is number 357. Jesus, the name high over all. May the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In Amen. the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.